Welcome back to Orbiter. In the previous episode, we launched Space Shuttle Atlantis into an initial orbit. We'll now perform an OMS-2 burn to place Atlantis in a higher, stable orbit. We head to the flight engineer seat by pressing Control and Down, and focus our view on the keyboard controls for the flight computer. Our inputs are displayed on the MFD second from the left on the top of our screen. First of all, we'll place the shuttle in operating mode 105 by keying in OPS 105 followed by the PRO key. We'll now select item and 6, which allows us to edit the 6 item on the MFD. We then enter the values plus 0 0.4, minus 5.7, plus 5.7, and then hit execute. For reference, this is all specified in the checklist linked in the description below. We then select item 10 and key in plus 00, zero plus 00, zero plus 10, which tells the shuttle we want to start our burn in 10 minutes. And then again enter plus 00, zero and exec. Item 19 specifies the amount of delta V we want for this burn. We input 500 feet per second. Item 22 and item 23 commit the details of the burn we've just set up. We now make a quick check that our attitude reference source is set to inertial, which it is because we did it in the previous video. Return to the keypad and select item 5. This selects our attitude for the burn. We enter plus zero for nose up. We'll now head down to the autopilot and select free mode which allows us manual control of the RCS thrusters. On the commander side, we activate flight controller power and repeat this on the pilot side. You can now use the joystick to pitch the orbiter into its nose up attitude. With that done, return to the autopilot panel and select auto, followed by the three disc rate keys. Returning to the keypad, we enter item 27, then execute and the computer will fine-tune our attitude for the burn. When you're ready to begin your burn, switch on the OMS engines, then hit the execute key on the keypad. The shuttle's orbital maneuvering engines will now fire, and if you head into the 2D panel view, now is a good time to open the orbit MFD. You can see the apoapsis and periapsis of our orbit increasing as the burn continues. When the burn is complete, the orbital engines shut off and you'll find yourself in a stable orbit. Your numbers may vary slightly, but our apoapsis is 800 kilometers with a periapsis of 111. This is enough to keep the shuttle in a stable orbit. Now the burn is complete, we'll switch off the orbital maneuvering engines, switch off the flight controller power on both commander and pilot sides of the flight deck. Now returning to the keypad, we'll go OPS 106 Pro, which puts the shuttle in mode 106. As the Earth rolls by below us, that concludes our OMS-2 tutorial. Remember, a full checklist is available in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe. Take care and I'll see you next time.